You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is After Buzz TV's The Americans After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post game wrap up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's The Americans After Show. Welcome to the Americans After Buzz After Show season finale. This is it, JTJ. I know. At least we went out with a bang. Like we a did. for real bang. Like a bang. Well, not not a, not a literal bang, but just kind of like a emotional bang and a punch. Yeah. That's a lot. They, they gave us like a like a, a couple sneak attacks at the end there. Like it uh, kept going several. on. Oh yeah. Like, no, every storyline like just derailed, basically, like when a completely opposite course. Yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm Joe Braswell. Obviously, I'm joined, as always, by the lovely Jennifer Golden. Hello, everybody. There she is. We're not joined by the lovely Joe Sanfilippo, who is not here. He had an assignment, so he missed the season finale, but he loves you all as much as we all do. So hi, Joe. And um, But yeah, Aww. man. Oh, there he is. I know. He, yeah, I don't love him, though. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so season finale. So I, I kind of, Joe and I touched on this yesterday, yesterday, last week about how last year the season finale ended kind of with like an action sequence. It ended with like, you know, gunplay and, and, and stuff happening. And the whole this whole season was the opposite of that. It was very like deliberate and sort of, you know, kind of spy-y and never, not a lot of action, not a lot of explosions, not a lot of gunplay. Um, but we did, and then the, the season finale was this much. It was a lot of the same. Like we thought, I thought there'd be this big bloodbath with Lyric and and the Philip and Elizabeth. There'd be this big well, there shootout. There was a little bit of a bloodbath. Well, there was, but yeah. I thought there'd be this big cat and mouse shootout and a car chase. And I don't know if Stan. I thought Stan would like you know be fighting Oleg and Arcady or I don't know who. Wait, so know. does that mean though? Then you didn't like the fu- the finale, no, I or you do? I love the finale. Okay. I love what they did. I love what they were able to accomplish with this finale and keep us both like I think between the two of we said oh my god like 45 times so yeah. I, think, <laughs> I think i still feel it inside i'm a little bit like taken back by the whole thing it was a lot going on so i mean we, we should we should attack a lot of it but uh i mean you know it, it so the theme of this episode and the theme of this uh season has been sort of family and the importance of family and keeping this family together and the realization of how you know um how much you know henry and Paige mean to philip and elizabeth and, yes you know in, in the wake that of what happened with Emmett and uh, Leanne and, and the kids. Oh, don't even get me started. And, yeah, and so the whole season we were like, look, what's going on with Emmett and Leanne? And, oh, poor Jared is left alone. And, and you know, and there is Elizabeth trying to console him and do the right thing. And this whole time, and, and even, um, you know, Margot Martindale, uh, Claudia is, is distraught. But, she thought it was her fault. The whole yeah, time. this whole thing, this whole season. And then, like, so and then this bleeds over to what they're, how they're dealing with Paige and Paige's need to sort of, search for something and search for something outside the family and how they dealt with that and it all was a big old fat lie you know which is super ironic i mean everything went in a different direction like i said it's just so surprising yet so genius writers of the americans sure because oh, so i mean it would, and we all good. thought and assumed that Lyric was the killer, right? We, we, I never felt like he was because he kept saying he wasn't. And I, yeah. it was like, why would he say he isn't when he, A, doesn't really care. Right. And is a tough guy. And B, just why? Why would he say he wasn't? Well, I want to jump in. I, I got some questions about Lyric. I'll, I'll get to that in a second. But um, so, yeah, so we find out that, you know, uh, we, it opens with Paige sort of doing her thing. It's really cool sort of opening sequence, uh, cut to music, cut to, uh, I don't know the name of the song, but... You know, living in that the twilight zone. This is a madhouse. Something, something, something. Anyway, yeah, that one. So that that cut between you know Philip and Elizabeth doing finishing one of their one of their, their last mission of the season, as it turns out, and uh, and Paige doing her protest and watching good old Pastor Tim, not creepy Pastor Tim, getting chained to the. It uh, bugs me fence. that we don't know more about Pastor Tim because you were here last touched, week. No, but and I watched it last night. And they touched on him being a total creeper. 
and yes. then nothing happened. So wait, so Joe and I talked about this last week, just very briefly about Pastor. Come on, your perspective on this. Like, so was Pastor Tim hitting on her? What'd you get? What did you get in that that thing in the in that thing in the bus? Yeah. I think he was definitely hitting on her. I mean, I don't know if that's his like way of like like sucking her into the church group more or like it seemed a little cultish almost. You know how like cult leaders are very charismatic yep. and they're attractive and they're I mean not that Pastor Tim is attractive. That, that, that hair's not doing any favors. <laughs> it's like orange. Yeah. <laughs> Someone needs to re dye that man's hair. Yes. But that is neither here nor there. So he had that cult leader thing where it was sure. like seducing, you know, his like people yeah. um because then they love him it's a different they'll do whatever he wants because they love him the way joe flippo read it was that it it was actually Paige who has a crush on him as wide eyed and he's just being i mean you can read it in both ways right you can read it like you know i'm Paige gonna stick with crush, my theory but i just thought that his hand on her like shoulder was yeah. a little too long just a couple seconds too long and the, the glance Pastor. at her it was a little yeah i think it was there, there might have been a glance back it was too much anyway so we saw it, it was like held way too long it was like all of it. it was just yeah it was too much so we see pastor tim get arrested and uh bye, and, tim. bye. and this really galvanizes really inspires and galvanizes Paige, who who comes back with this big giant speech about sort of sacrifice and right. the greater good and having a purpose and and this is not it's not about the church it's about what he did he being jesus i suppose you know you know sacrificing in, or, or god sacrificing right. his son or whatever you want to say and so uh and but on their end, they got to see poor old Fred. Is that his Fred, name? Fred, yes, Fred. Poor old Fred, Good. who, you Good. know, I know I got a name right for once. I know. I know, finally, it only took 13 episodes. Yeah. Uh, well, Fred. now 26, <laughs> exactly. if you're really counting, but. <laughs> so well. Fred, good old Fred, uh, like, you know, he, he, did his, he did his little job. He did his mission. He got in there. He, you know, obviously, they, it, 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 it sucks because they kind of forced him to it. And he really didn't want to do it. Yeah. And he knew it was going to be, gonna be nice dodgy. Guy. But it. It went wrong, but he did get the shoes. He did do the dump, and he did go code gray, as the police called him. He was code gray, which means dead. I'm assuming. I don't know. Well, it sounded. Well, wouldn't he be like code red if he was? Well, that would be flatline. Well, no, they they were like he's code gray. He's dead. I think, so I think that's that was police talk for like he's dead in the, in the phone booth. Yeah. So that's that's when they knew to leave when he was code gray. But. But more importantly, they got back and they had the whole conversation about sacrifice. They talked about how Fred sacrificed. They had this sort of implied conversation. There's always so many parallels. Yeah, it's, it's all day always. long. And then they had this, it's all day long. This implied <laughs> conversation that, you know, well, we're all sacrificing for the greater good. And they were so sort of proud of it. Like, yeah, well, that's what that's what we're about. And, you know, and, 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 and Elizabeth even touches on it in that moment. She says something to the effect of, you know, I'd rather her... I wish we could tell her about what we do. Like he said, I wish we could tell her the real heroes instead of some made-up right. fairy tale or whatever she and said. And she was saying know? how she was like happy that like Paige is so passionate about something. Yes, yes. So, so you can see the early seeds being planted oh, by totally. Elizabeth. You know, but still didn't see it coming. Like did not at didn't all. Didn't see it coming. Well, the, and the other thing is like I mean, the early seeds being planted for Elizabeth, who is, seems to be turning at the end. Like, well, maybe we should make her a spy. Which we'll, well get yeah, to that. that's what I mean. Yeah, and then and then, uh, but it also sort of speaks to like what we've seen from Elizabeth all season, which is this this sort of like maternal Elizabeth, like you know, like she had with um, the Lydia Lucia. Lucia. Thank you. Darn it, oh, that streaks over. Uh, <laughs> what she did with like, Lucia and then that that sort of like in the maternal thing she had going with Lucia and also um, you know obviously with Jared you know the whole thing with Jared and so this whole need to sort of like really you know embrace and and it has a lot to do with coming from a place of what she does for a living her pride in the cause and being a spy is what she's really trying to evangelize if you will and tell to these people yeah. in, in a maternal way and teach them and so she wants nothing more than to give that to pay I mean, really, right. as a mother, I mean, and, and know, Elizabeth, knowing Elizabeth a, a little bit about Elizabeth, like she would be thrilled if she can just teach Paige the ways and they can clean guns together, and right. try on wigs, you know, and do whatever. Do However, whatever she has been. Kids do. She's been trying to protect her and keep her alive for all these years, and it's like, yeah, now you want to put her in harm. <laughs> yes, you know, obviously she would be taught how to survive, right. but like Elizabeth said in a previous scene to Jared, there are risks involved. Jared. Jared, yes. It is a weird thing, too, in that 
uh, I mean, it, it's a shift, right? Because up until now, like this is kind of what we touched on last season. And you know, we talked about Paige is snooping around, Paige mm-hmm. and her spy training, so snooping around, is that they didn't have to worry about Paige when she was zero through 12. Right. She's just, you know, who cares, you know? But so when you hit 12, between 12 and 14, you start to become, you know, uh, you start to become a teenager. You start, you know, you start to become a, uh, you know, a pain in the ass, sort of snoopy, uh, teenager, and that's right. exactly what Paige was doing. She's snooping. She's not buying the old. Poor Henry's still like, yeah, they're jogging. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I love they're Henry. They're on a hike, and he's at the store. What do you mean, Paige? Paige's like, ugh. Yes, yeah. yeah, he was like, where do you think they are, Paige? Like, I, that was a great question. Where do you think they are? Right. She's like, I don't know, and I don't care. Well, you clearly care. Yeah, that that's just so well played between like the difference in ages. This is kind of the point. Like three years ago, that was Paige. Paige would have bought anything. Like, oh, they're on a hike. You know, for two hours. Right. I'm gonna. They drag us out here, and then she's gonna go on a hike, and Dad's gonna go to the store in the middle of nowhere. Want to play Parcheesi? It's like, you know, that's for right. for Henry. Anyway, so yeah, I, I I can see it makes sense to me that Elizabeth would come around to wanting that for Paige, but I'm getting slightly ahead of myself because uh, I do uh, want to talk about Larrick. We see we still have to tie up this thing with Jared. Yeah, well, that's where I was going to go with the parallel for Paige, is uh-huh. that I said, you know, when we, like, saw that Jared turned out to be... A spy. A spy in spy his team. own. And he's the one who killed Leanne and Emmett, yeah. which is, like... And his own sister. And his sister. And he said she didn't deserve that. But, and, yeah, listen, Jared, crazy. I knew there was something creepy about him this whole time. Uh, I knew yeah, it. He was a little creepy. And remember when they were when we're so we're so like Monday morning quarterbacks on this one. Oh yeah, he no, was no. creepy. No, <laughs> no. I I knew he was creepy. I didn't know what was creepy about him, right. but I knew he was creepy. I remember seeing him eye the knife in the kitchen. Oh. Remember yeah, when yeah. like I think Elizabeth was there pretending to be the social worker. Right. And then also who came by? Stan came by. Right. And I felt very nervous because he was like eyeing things around he had that like spy technique where it was like i will get something and i will do this like he did seem in control even though he was the one that was like being supervised it's very true and it's one of these things where i'm sure if we rewatch the whole season totally all that we're like ah of course oh right there you did the look you know like it's what i mean Ah. that's kind of cool thing about them sure that the the jays you know joe and joel uh, Joel and Weisberg and, and Fields um, laid this thing out. Wait, they have a Joel and a Joel? I think it's Joe and Joe. I think it's. I think they're both. There's Joel's. a lot of Joes bo- and Joels. I, up I in think this. they're both Joe. Joe Fields and Joel and Joe Weisberg. Or, I believe you're right, and we've yes. got two Joes here yes. and a Jen. Yeah, the Jays. They're okay. everywhere. Um, so yeah, I think. And the, the Jennings family. That's right. It's everywhere. Uh, I think that like if. Um, yeah, if you if you if you we rewatch that thing, I think all the clues are there because you know it's easy for us, and and, and this, this show never takes the easy way out. So no. Larrick being the killer is just a little too easy, right? But although it was kind of cool to watch Larrick systematically spy and find right. and, and and track and and the whole suspense of like what's he gonna do? What's he really want? Does he want Jared? Does he want like you know what's going on? What's here? the end game? Um, I don't mind that he killed Jared. You don't mind that. Larrick. That Larrick killed Jared. Yeah, that makes sense. Because that, that was a weird... That, was, that uh, kind of puts a button on that whole scenario. Because yes. we thought it was Larrick who did it, and it was really Jared who did it, and we were protecting Jared from Larrick. But really, they shot it out. And we're, jump, we're jumping around a bit, but I just... Sorry. I just, I'm not a so question. No, no, I'm going to jump. I'm, I'm going to jump back Keep to another place. Track. Keep us on uh, track. No, I'm, we're jumping around. It's fine. Lots to talk about. I'm just curious about... So Larrick, who spent all this time sort of tracking them down his and, and in killing folks, he killed Kate... You know, very, very ruthlessly to get some information. He killed my man, uh, you know, the telephone guy, George, is it? George. You know, he killed, you know. So he was taking fools out. He's tracking people that had to track her on Jared. He finally finds Philip and Elizabeth. He finds them. He kills the, 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 the woman at the safe house. Like, he's taking fools out, right? Yeah, he He kills all these MFs, all these folks, and then he finds Philip and Elizabeth. He's like, I'm taking you in. Like, huh? Right. <laughs> like that that part to me felt a little like convenient, but I'm not, you know. Yeah, that was a little like, weird. Especially since his whole thing was like, you know, you killed my 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 people and I'm going to take you guys I'm going to take you all out. It could have been bring you to justice. Played a different way. He could have had them together and he could have tried to kill them or like he could have said I'm I, he could have given them a speech. Sure. Or something and then Jared could have still shot Larrick. Right. It, it, the whole 
I'm taking you in could have just been cut out altogether. Well, and I also think it's it's a weird. I mean, I think we also we often forget like you know when when we're watching you know sides and things get blurred and good guys and bad guys get blurred that Larrick is a Navy SEAL and he's a he's a military guy and those were his comrades who got killed. His comrades, that's wrong. But his 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 colleagues that got killed and he uh, called them brothers, which his I like. brothers that got killed. This is military, so maybe he wanted to see these guys be brought to justice as opposed to just vigilante. How do you choose? Like, when do we, all of a sudden you turn on your judicial yeah. switch? Exactly. After you just killed five, 15 right. people getting to them. Right. Like, I'll kill but you, you, two, you, 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 and you. You two are going to go to trial. To you know, why not just tase everybody? Or, like, you know, anyway, who knows? So that happened. Um, and we did see, uh, so that, that helped for the reveal. That was a nice little button that happened there. You know, Larrick and Jared. Uh, Jared had a lot to say, too, for, for, for a long time. He bled, he bled out for a long time. Like, it's kind of one of those funny scenes where it's like... <laughs> like, and, I feel like on the and, top, and like, thing. Talk Soup. <laughs> no. Talk Soup would totally make fun of that scene. You'd be like, really? Tell us more. Yeah, are, you, are you dead yet, Jerry? You no, I'm no. not dead yet. I just, I just one more thing he to say. He would just keep coming back. I killed my right. parents. Oh, and I killed my sister. And oh, and I'm a the spy. And 13 different reasons. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh and I was in love with Kate. Right. Oh, 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 yeah. And I'm a, <laughs> it's like, dude, are you, yeah, you're bleeding out of your neck. Like, how long did it take to die? I was surprised that hearing all of that, Elizabeth didn't just be like, oh, I'm going to just let you bleed out, my right. friend. You are the enemy. Well, I was totally expecting Elizabeth to, like, to shoot him or do something because they just kind of watch. But, but, but the look on Philip's face the whole time was just like, what? He had some <laughs> great looks, man. Like, between the look he gave Elizabeth at the end when she's like, well, maybe Paige should be a spy. He was like, what? You know, But, like, not disgust, at all. Like, it was more you like... Know. It's very subtle. Yeah, and he's, Lauren Lee and Ellie would really like that. Yes, the, 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 subtleties, the subtleties and the acting. Well, that's uh, you know, that's what that Matthew Reese is good at acting. <laughs> he's he's good at that, and being handsome. Like, is, is that your subtle look there? I'm not buying it. Not so subtle. Yeah, not so subtle. I don't believe it. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So anyway, so yeah, so that um, uh, so we have the confrontation. Uh, so it turns out just to just to button this thing up, it turns out that Jared was now, so the, it turns out that the center has approached Leanne and Emmett about, you know, maybe, uh, you know, turning Jared. They said, no, not not our son, just like Philip and Elizabeth would. Right. And they said, Because no. these second generationals, that would make for great right. American-born CIA yeah, operatives. Yeah, we, we can really get them in. Like, you right. can't, like, we can't get you in, because they'll run a background check and be like, wait right. a minute, you know, you're you're Russian. Or you, you know? never existed <laughs> or, until, yeah, exactly. like, three days ago. Yeah, how, how are you? So that you would never, they would never stand up against CIA back, background check. But born in this country. Or they'd be like, why are you so agile for, like, a 40-year-old? <laughs> right, exactly. So the, the whole, no, <laughs> exactly. So uh, they did that, and they sent in old Kate, whose job was to seduce this young 17-year-old boy. I mean, come on. And, you know. And, and now Kate, Kate makes a lot more sense a where it was sense. like, Again, enter Kate. When we, if, if, if Whiff and when we rewatch the season, we'll be like, oh, yeah, Kate. And then and I would also want to rewatch that conversation, their body language in the diner when we, when we saw them talking. Right. Like, I'm sure, you know, because it felt, we thought it was one thing, but it was clearly another thing. And sh clearly they, and that's why they kept saying, why does Kate go as herself to him? Like, yes, exactly. Why isn't she wearing a disguise? I mean, they really just use sex on anyone that will do yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. On each other, on the enemy. And, if you're, on, and look, if whoever. you're 16, 15, 16, 17, and Kate's knocking on your door. Right. Like, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll be a spy. You know, and you're yeah. 15 year old. And so, so they got him all up to, he was 18, obviously. And so he, I don't know how early they got him, or I want to assume maybe 16, 15, 16. But by the time they got to him, I mean, how long, I mean, how long do you think they had him? You know, I don't know. Him. I mean, I'm assuming a, f a few years for him to be able to be like, okay, well, I, I pledge my allegiance to the Soviet Union and Kate, and I'll just kill my parents and my sister. I mean, you know, they must have had him for a while. I mean, yeah, that's true. He knew how to kill. Yeah. He knew how to operate a gun. Yeah. It's... I mean, that's the same thing as what I just said. But um, he didn't kill Larrick, though. No. That was so weird, though. Who did? Oh, I think that Philip, I think we're to, to say that Philip had some sort of gun back there. It was a weird move. Or was it Jared? No. Did I Jared don't... just like, look like he fell and like lean up? And no, like... it felt like, it felt like Philip did a thing like behind his back. Yeah, there was a lot know? of ruffling around and then gunshots. But it was, it was cool. It was, it was cool the way it went down. But like, so but back to Jared, this whole notion that this kid is, you know, he's a sleeper spy within his own family. It kind of speaks to what, you know, this whole... All of season one was really about, you know, 
Philip and Elizabeth wrapping their heads around and us as the audience together, all wrapping their our heads or collective heads around the fact that they are spies. They are in America. They have multiple loyalty, their loyalties to the Soviet Union, to mm -hmm. each other. Like it's really effing complicated. Like all these emotions. You like this country. Philip likes his cool car. They're like, also travel agents. Yeah, yeah. It's they have all to keep up that front. That they love about America, but right. they're not really Americans because they're, you know, they're 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 communists who are fighting from a who fighting for the cause and mm -hmm. wants to take out this evil Ronald Reagan and stupid America. So, oh, uh, I love uh, Gad hanging. Oh, Gad, the giant Reagan picture. Yeah. Oh, that was like a, a 90 by 70 picture of Reagan. Yeah. Whatever it was. But He's anyway, very so. Serious. Where the houses look? <laughs> it sounds great. Anyway, yeah, so uh, the notion that, again, all this is now challenged because you only thing you really have to believe is that the center and the, and Mother Russia knows what's right. Like, everything we're doing is for the greater cause. We get right. our orders, blindly follow our orders, no matter what Mother Russia tells us because they know what's right. And the whole time, they're, like, running secret ops within the secret op. They're, like, like Philip and Elizabeth didn't know that Jared's a spy, and they're trying to exfiltrate him and get him out and do all this other stuff. And the, the center knew, but right. no, one knew, no, no, no one knew that. And, and, and all those interactions with uh, Elizabeth, which is also strange. Why didn't, why, didn't, why didn't Jared just come clean at, at any given moment? Like, why keep his cover with, once Elizabeth revealed herself, like, hey, this is me. I'm really a spy. Your parents are spies. Why didn't he just go, I'm a spy too. Like, the center, the center will explain everything. I Let's get know. back to the cabin. Maybe for whatever, you know? <laughs> like, for whatever Kate had told him, maybe she said never reveal or like. Right. I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe like, it, may, maybe, had, it maybe had a lot to do with, uh, Maybe it more to do with uh, the lack of communication. You know, they, it's not like they have hotlines and cell phones. You know, they, they, it took, took forever to get these messages back and forth to each other. Maybe they didn't. I just feel like that in that moment when they're trying to exfiltrate Jared, like at some point someone would have said, oh, by the way, Jared's a spy. Don't worry. The center has it all under control. Or when he's like when they're worried that he's unsafe, he right. well, I guess she didn't tell him who she was until that morning. She kept being the social worker what was he going to be like hey you don't oh, have to wear that disguise i yes. know who you are yes well did he I, this is so, so confusing i don't know maybe he really didn't know the whole time he must have known because kate must have said something or does kate keep it all separate does kate like i don't know because weren't philip and elizabeth kind of going rogue on the whole jared thing like it was more like they were doing it as a friend to leanne and emmett well the, the whole jared thing was yes but also the exfiltration came after kate remember kate's the one who said get jared out she left it on the toilet paper so Kate's the one who started that ball rolling, get Jared out. Right, but prior to that, they were already checking in on him. They were they were just trying to find their friend's killer. It was like right, and yeah, you mentioned they were checking in on him. But they were doing the, the finding of the friend's killer on right. their own accord. Right. They weren't well, doing uh, it because yeah, they were doing that. It wasn't their, an assignment. They're doing it on their own, with, but with with uh, with uh, Claudia. Wait, also. Remember when Stan was looking through the briefcase and was like, hey, there's a slot here for uh -huh. some files. Jared must have taken the files. Right. That's very true. That's very true. Good, good point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, yeah, that was, just, that, that was a real head scratcher. But it really just calls into question again, like what? So many things. Yeah, what, like what, their, their whole existence. So now at the end you see Who them. Who trust? Well, it's just their whole thing of like right. we're doing this all, and then now they're at, what if they ask me to t to turn my daughter. I'm not turning my daughter. Like, what if like what can the center ask me to do? And what what is my job? What is not my where job? Where are the boundaries? Yeah, where are the boundaries? It just takes us right back to see, to season one, where Stan, where uh, Philip was like, I'm ready. To, I'm ready to. I'm ready to uh, defect. But can they I quit? Out of here. Like, I mean, is that it's like a job? You're like, I resign. You can't quit, but you can defect. Like, they can go right. into the CIA and be like, I'm a spy. I'll give you all my secrets. I'll tell you everything you need to know for in exchange for my safety and immunity. And or why not just be like, Hey guys, I'm gonna just be an American now. Cool. Yeah, well, then have, he'll be looking over his shoulder as Russians try to kill him. I think that may ultimately happen. I mean, it's great. It's interesting, though, because we had we spent all of season one with Philip and Elizabeth sort of like at odds and the splitting yeah. and then sort of getting back oh, together. When they split up, I was really upset. And then in season two, they seem to very, be very much like back together in love and we're mm -hmm. a family. And now we have this. I see where it looks like we're heading for season three, another rift here where Elizabeth's like, yeah, you know, she's, she's, she's going to be a spy. Because I don't think Philip's going to come around to that. 
I don't either. I don't think Philip's going to be like, no, that's cool. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, let let's make our daughter yeah. super spy. Um, I agree with you. So I don't know. I, that, that's The whole thing is just a big mind F and was really sort of cool the way that whole thing played out. Speaking of mind Fs, and, and uh, let's I want to talk a little bit about Stan. We'll come up and finish with Philip and Elizabeth. Well, let's talk about Stan for a bit because his whole arc was very interesting. You know, starting from the moment when he had that moment in the kitchen uh, with his w lovely wife, Sandra. Sandra. Oh, I see. I almost had it. Uh, you always make her more exotic. I uh, know, Sandra. She's just uh, Sandra. Uh, she, I love her. Uh, but it, you know, this is that was just a very. I'm finally. I would like to say I'm finally proud of her for like calling it out and being like, "Do you want me to move out?" And, yes. You know, like she is the one who's actually making sane decisions here. Well, not only that, like it was, it was. This is that that whole their whole entire ma mess marriage was encapsulated in that one tiny scene yeah. where Stan is like thinking about work. You know, zoned out, like in the space, like thinking of thing. And her, the loving wife who knows him, is like, Yeah, I know I'm effing this other dude. I know things are bad. Right. I know I'm out of here. But you look worried. I know you. What's really going on? He's like, Nothing. He's like, You don't know me as well as you, you don't think. know me as well you think. Like, no, she actually knows she's you. She's like, Okay, just you're doing as your well thing. I'm out of here. And it's kind of like, Come on, Stan. Like, you don't, you don't want this to work because this is what you do. You zone out. Whatever happened with the biker gang, whatever's going on with everything else, you zone out. And no, poor but, Sandra I mean, is I like. No, but preoccupied with what's happening with Nina and his big course. decision to make and this whole thing. And But the point is he should be able to recognize that, like, oh, this is what I do. Yeah, I zone out. Oh, yeah, I can't tell you. And that's why we're getting a divorce. I'll see you later. But instead he's like, I don't understand. Like 20 years, like what happened? It's like, no, Stan. Again, why I say <laughs> you know, Stan, not like, my favorite character. He's killing me with that. But, not that he's not acting like impeccably, but like sure. his character and his storyline really bugged me. Sure, sure, sure. I, 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 you know, Maybe I, I just I'm, don't like cheers. I do like, no, well, I do like that Stan. The, the thing that's always been true about Stan is, you know, the one thing that he has, the one compass that points due north is not the one in his pants oh. it's his it's the one that bleeds red white and blue for and, and, I, and i knew that he would not at the end of the day i knew that he would not betray his country and i'm glad that he didn't because who is it that says it every time is it you or is it other joe that's always like is he doing this for nina or is he doing this yeah, for the it's country joe. it's always joe well and i think that usually it is for nina right but in this instance i'm very happy to see that he actually made the right choice i mean he he went through with it he actually went in and got the intel right. like he went in and got it like he you know so so it wasn't like i'm not i'm not doing this ish like he went in and got the intel and he really was there but you know all His that moral compass now, what do you think about this dream? How do, how do you interpret this dream? I do like oh, no, how in the odd. I do like how strange. in the dream though, like Martha is clearly <laughs> stealing, you know, putting like files in, Which her, in means her purse. Then, if you like think about dreams, is that he, he sees it? He subconsciously knows right. it. Right. Right. Now that's an interesting clue. Like he has to sub and subconscious know that Martha is doing something. So that's it. We'll see how if that comes up Something's later. Happen to but that was just as plain as day. Right. Like, oh, hey, Gad wants to see you. Bloop. <laughs> yeah. It's like I'll put these in my in my purse, these secret documents, off the copier. Um, Wait, but, and then he sees the guy he killed, right? Eating a sandwich, of course, because yes. that's what he was eating his right. last meal. This burger's delicious, right? Oh, <laughs> awkward. And then he sees Sandra having sex with the dude, yes, and her staring at him like a creeper. I mean, I mean, I, don't, I have no idea what that means. I don't know if this means like in the job is. I would say that he feels like he's already lost so much, right? And done such horrible things to make all these things happen right. that he is probably like, I can't lose anything else, or I can't do another horrible thing, sure. or some conscience where like that's the the answer somewhere. I mean, maybe maybe it's also like him when he when he crossed the line and killed that dude. It was the beginning of the decline of his marriage as well in his mind. So it's always like it's almost like this. They all are together, like you know. And it's all about Nina. Yeah. Nina is actually the problem, if you well, think about Nina it. Nina wasn't in the dream, though. No, but those things were. Yeah. Uh, and and Gad was absent. This is like, I, I, I could do like 30 minutes on the stream. We should dissect the stream. Like, Gad's in his office. He wasn't in the office. Where's Gad? Anyway, uh, <gasps> it's, it's interesting. So he has that dream, and we see him go through all the motions and gets the nice floppy disk, and they put it in, and they do the thing. Right. And, and, and he, and he, and he I like, love that you're like, is he memorizing? Yeah, he's it? looking at it with that kind of like. No, grin. he's not memorizing it. Um, the guy can barely stay focused for a minute. <laughs> he's like, Right. But of course, he had a camera, which is pretty high tech for 1983. I thought but, so too, but yeah. except for the fact that it wasn't 
just the little piece. It was like that, like glued yeah. to his chest. That was like a whole situation. Right. If, I wonder. Excuse me. Oh, look at you. I know. It makes me wonder if, um, hmm. if in that moment when he had that conversation with Arcady, and Arcady's like, "Okay, all you got to do is, uh, you know, hand over the junk at three o'clock," and and Nina's free. He's like, "How do I know?" I wonder if that was another thing. Like, this isn't gonna happen. It's like, I don't know, like, this is all too weird. Like, he's not, how do I know you're telling the truth? How do I know this is going to be right? And then and he's like, well, have Mina meet me at the place that we, you know, that we first met. I think all that was kind of like his wheels turning and thinking, like, I don't know. Then he went on that walk and he looked at the, you know, the uh, Washington, Washington Monument and kind of thought, like, America. I think he just came to his senses is what yeah. happened. It was a big ask of him and I think that he made the right choice finally right. for the first time I mean in the entire two seasons also eat it Arcady I mean I'm not even that mad about that <laughs> I, I think he'll still win somehow because Stan is going to mess up again yeah, somewhere it, down the line it, it's, it's, it's interesting and so so I ask you this like so what about my poor sweet lovely Nina gone so I she's gone I mean she's presumably going back to the I hope she booked another show and that's to, what to Russia. Well, yeah. Was. Well, she was supposed to be on my other show, um, The Blacklist, but she... Oh, what was she going to be on The Blacklist? I think she was going to be uh, one of the FBI, one of the, one of the team, but I think she's... To replace Mira? Well, she, no, I think she... No, no, she was Mira. Oh, get out. And then, yeah, and then she... They picked her up on The Americans, so when they shot the pilot for Blacklist, she was not the character of Mira, but like something, some uh, gotcha. ca Mira-like character, mm -hmm. so they recast her with my girl... Uh, Mira, whose name I can never remember. Cause, At least you know her name is Mira. Yeah. Well, probably because I told it to you. Exactly. Okay. Uh, anyway, but no, so so anyway, Nina, so I, I'm wondering, like, I mean, is this a fair, what, what do we, so what do we, what's our takeaway with Nina? Nina's character, two seasons. I, I, I mentioned last, I, 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 I posited last a couple episodes, a couple episodes ago, podcasts ago about, uh, is she an opportunist? Is she like jumping on any train? Is she is she focused with the U.S. It, with with Russia? Like is she? I think she was just in a, a shitty situation. Sorry, Sorry. I said it. <laughs> uh. Sorry. It um, but yeah, I think that she kind of got like the crap end of the stick because she was being so controlled and manipulated by both sides that I think she felt stuck and right. just took you know the better of two evils really. So and I do think. After talking to Costa Ronan and seeing this episode, I think he may do something to help her. Maybe. Because he's been trying to help her. He gave right. her money and was like, go like the wind, you know? And, and he's got like his, his dad is Gorbachev right. or whoever. Like his dad's super high up that we don't know who Right, and they is. kept hinting at that. Yeah. Yet, well, they said that his family was dangerous, but then they also said he can do whatever he wants. And they haven't actually exercised any of that yet. So I feel no. like maybe they save that in their back pocket or next season. Maybe he's going to make a call and have Nina back in the right. office. Or or at least have her not killed or yeah. whatever terrible things or could trial. happen. It's, it's, it's Maybe she's going to fall in love with Anton and they're going to work in that place with Basili. Maybe. Basile. Now I'm just getting crazy. Basili, they're... Uh, they're um, didn't, didn't they, they did it, right? Nina, Nina and, and, and Basili? I think she did things to him. Uh, but I don't right. know that things were done to her. That's gross. Um, that Nina. See, that was pretty PC she what I just around. said. Uh, so... So what? So what do we make? I mean, so uh, Nina's fate. I mean, do you think she got what's coming to her? Like, what's your take? You're now that it's all said and done. Nina Sorvini. You know. I'm just glad she's out of there. That was a crappy situation for her. But, but are you are you like she got what she deserved, or poor Nina? Or what, no, what, I, I don't know that she deserved any of what she even got. Right. It from start like day one, really. I think she. So was, are you like poor Nina? Or are you like, hey, there she goes. I you know. <laughs> I'm kind of like, well, she left, but hey, we got Oleg still. <laughs> So I don't really feel a loss. I kind of feel right. just like content. Sure, fair enough. I you mean, are gonna miss Nina. Oh, I miss Nina for sure. That you know. You I, know what's weird though? Wait, we need to pause about yes, that for a second because Sandra is moving out. Nina is going back to Russia. Where are gonna be the women of this entire oh, show? Kate's dead. Kate's dead. Claudia's on CBS. Right. Like I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, we're, All we're... we got is Elizabeth and Paige. Yeah, Leanne showed up, died. You know. So. Oh yeah. Uh... <laughs> well, obviously. <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll see. Woman who has safe house, dead. Dead. The the honey pot blonde. She's not dead, but she's gone. Oh, I always forget about her. I know. She's around. She's just so not important to me. Um, anyway. Yeah. Whatever. Right. Oh, Martha. We still got Martha, who's, who's, who's. Martha. Who will we'll touch on the Martha Clark situation. It looks like they're setting up a divorce, right? 
Oh, totally, because she wants to have kids and he can't, and yeah. that is so perfect. Well, it's just great, because I don't want Martha to die or go to jail or get caught stealing stuff. And, and I love right. Martha, but the storyline's like, all right, I'm kind of oh, done with, won't, like... Won't. She belongs on Mad Men. Yeah, I, she, yeah she does. And she's, I think she's a great actress, and she's Oh, great. totally. I'm just over her. Uh, you know. Another, Wish they would have sent her away then instead of Nina. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that they'll resolve that next season, and they may even do yeah. it with a line at the beginning, like, oh, yeah, Martha and I didn't work out. Wait, you know? in the last <laughs> episode of the last season, didn't they get married, or was that this season? That was not this season. That was then. last season. They right. married. It was uh, I think not it was, the last episode. It was a few. It was, it was yeah. deep in, and, and, you know, and uh, Claudia was there. And right. They, everyone was there. There was a family. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. I think that this is that, that, that marriage is uh, not not going to last. But um anyway, so yeah, so so Stan does not do the thing he 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 does. Now that bit at the end where Stan like is stalking at the Residentura and watching them take Nina away, um I think was that like because they said they were just going to kill her, right? No, it, they said she was going to trial. No, 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 I'm talking to Stan. Oh. Stan they told Stan like they roughed her up like we got her all beat up and if you don't oh, do yeah. the thing, we're going to just kill her. So when Stan sees her like gently being put into a car and carted away, did, did Stan did Stan think like okay this was all like did, I I did the right thing because they were all playing me? I mean, do you think that he did? He, did he, the question is, do you think Stan Stan knew he was getting played by Nina, or or not? That, that's what I, that's what the only thing I don't know because I was we kept saying all season Stan's world's gonna crash when he finds out his best friend and neighbor is a, our spy right. and his woman's uh, out to get him. So. I think that was more, I mean, we could go that route and we can all, you know, break this down and down and down and never have the answer. But I do think, and please write us and let us know what you think, guys, who are listening and watching. Um, I think, personally, that it was more like his send-off. Like, he, that was the only way he could say goodbye. Like, right. he obviously was watching. Like, what they, what, if he thought she was really going to die, what would he see? Right. Why would he be sitting? But I don't there? know if they. But I, I guess yeah, I don't know. Exactly. I think it was more like that was him saying goodbye, saying his piece, seeing that it was all wrapped up in a bow, because he did care about her. I think he right. wanted to see, you know, her well-being taken care of or whatever. But I don't think it was because he didn't trust what was going on. Because right. he looked very unfazed. It was more about her and like you're leaving. And we did, and so we had that poignant goodbye between those two lovers, mm -hmm. and we also had another poignant goodbye between Oleg and and Nina, which was sort of a, a look, and it kind of just reminded me of what Arcady said, like, don't tell women you love them, the rest of women don't like it. Right. It was just sort of this look of he's like, mm. she's like, yeah. Which I loved that moment that yeah. he gave Stan advice. It's like, Stan, you sap, like, yeah. come on, grow it was almost like, Yeah, it's almost like he's, you know, like he's really rubbing it in, like, right. by like, the way. Right, you made terrible choices, Stan, yeah. all for a woman you told you loved too many times that she never, and she never respected you, like, really? Yeah, what, do, what do you think, Feck, what, what, what's Stan going to come back, like, in season three? Like, Ooh. he's got, he's lost both women, he lost his, his friend Chris got shot, I think he's he shot a guy in cold vengeance. blood. Like he is, or he's gonna be crazy. all he has is he's like he's gonna come back with the Terminator. All he has right. is the job, and he still doesn't even know who killed Leanne and Emmett. I wonder if that will ever come out. It can't, yeah. Because what are they gonna say? Like, oh, their child who also died here with these people. And that's unresolved too, because it's like he went missing, and I wonder how right. they, how they're gonna clean that up, or how they clean yeah. that up, or is the body will the body show up? Will Eric's body ever show up? Will they just oh, be maybe AWOL? they'll make it look like they killed each other, yeah. or like got into like some kind of or Laric, maybe the Laric, you know, went, but I don't know who knows what they'll do with that. But they can't do that because Laric is, is in league with the KGB, so they'll compromise the KGB. That's the whole. Well, no, because away. oh, that's true. Because if they say Laric. That, that killed like, why would Larry Leanne kill him? and Emmett. Like, he, right. Is he a spy? And okay. then they wouldn't do that. Right. Which is all you can see. We have to remember who our, where our loyalties are because it's like, it's oh, yeah, they that, yeah, it's confusing. I wonder if they will address all of these little points. Maybe. Maybe. And then so uh, so all that happens. So then we, we in our little epilogue, we have that nice meeting with, with Claudia, you know, and her, her probably her final scene in The Americans, which is great. Margot Martindale again classed up the joint for one scene, like, you know. But, um, you know, where she kind of explains, like, this is what happened, and I wasn't a part of it. And, and Elizabeth says, I believe you. For the first time, Elizabeth, she's, she's actually, finally, yeah. like, not mean to her, you know, yeah. after, like, kind of 15 episodes of her being like, I hate you. Right. But, uh, so, yeah, so she uh, believes her, and so that is a deal. And then she delivers the hard news. Guess, but here's the bad news. You're next. Paige is next. Like, oh, that's crazy. No, no, no. Paige is next. Not like they want Paige to be next. That's what's going to happen. Right. These are your orders. 
Right. And like, so that was kind of a really cold moment. And also, it was Margo, a reminder also that they are not like that Paige is not their just their daughter, that yeah. they are the children of the mother country or whatever it is. Right. And the thing about this is, which is weird, is like it, it, a cult it, in itself. It felt like it, it felt like an experiment. Like, oh, we had we tried this thing out with Jared. It didn't work. So let's try it again with Paige. Not like we tried to sing on the Jared didn't work and oh well, like maybe we won't try that anymore. But they're like, no, well, no, we got it. What she's saying is it doesn't work going behind the, like actually she was giving them, showing them respect by saying, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen and you should just go with it. Otherwise they will find a way to get your child in and you saw what happened when they tried to get, you know. Sure. They and, turn their kid against them. And also, it's interesting. It's like, it just really makes you wonder, like, what did they think was going to happen? Because, again, in season one, it's like, they're the first of this program, right? They're, like, right. It's one thing to be like, we're going to, you know, in Russia, meet each other and then be stationed together, get right. married, be groomed for this whole thing. Like, how does thing. that end? Exactly. Like, for, in their somebody head. wins the war and then what? You pick up your family and you're like, hey, kids, by the way, we're spies. We're going to go back exactly. to Russia where we're actually from and been from this whole time. It, it's, when, 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 the, when the sinner says, oh, yeah, have some kids and we'll make it look better for you. So you have a couple kids, you know, it's all great for 13, 14, 15 years. And then what? Right. What do they think is going to happen? Like, did, 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 I mean, it's almost like did, did Philip and Elizabeth even ask themselves that question? I mean, like, if well, they I played think... this thing out, they would have thought, like, oh, yeah, like, that's right. Well, what it sounded like when Elizabeth had described it, you know, the various times she's talked about their job, is that they are still going to be in America, even if their operations end and if Russia wins the war, let's say, or whatever it is, sounds like they're going to be stuck in America, like that's right. what they signed up for. They're just that's where they are. It's what's interesting too is 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 that, um, like, Paige. I mean, well, do you think do you think Paige will actually take to this? Because Paige is such an idealist, and I don't see that in any way, shape, or form that Paige will be like, "Oh, cool spies. Okay, I'll be a spy." And for a country, I have no connection to. And I hate you guys, by the way. What, what's the <laughs> weirdest part about this program is that these they're targeting children that aren't born in Russia, don't know they're Russian have no affinity so, toward Russia or trust in the center. They weren't raised that way. They weren't through that program. They have no idea. And Somehow, not, though, they turned Jared, so I don't know. But it's but they turned Jared by bringing in a hot girl to, to sleep with him right. for three what years. Right, what are they going to do to Paige? You know, start, starting, like, starting at 10 years. Yeah, here's Pastor Tim. I don't know. Or here's a hot CIA dude. Yeah, like, I don't um, know. But anyway, but, but la the last thing is just it's interesting to see because it feels very like what I think the communist idea is of, of like, you know, oh, yeah, you have a daughter. Turn her into a spy. Right. Well, how am I going to do that? Like, I don't know. You're her parents. Make her a spy. Like, I'll, I'll check. I'll be, we'll be checked back with you in two years. You better be a spy or you're all dead. It's like, huh? Right. And also, <laughs> like, it's a communal daughter. Like, it's, Right. She's our daughter, too. Right. If, if you she, don't make her, if you don't you make make her a spy, her? we will. Right. You know, it's like, what? And if we don't, if we don't make her a spy, then we'll shoot her and kill her, and we'll kill you because it's you know whatever. We got we got more of you out there, or you we'll know. have her kill you, even better. Okay, so let, let's let's uh, so that's that. It was a great, great, great episode. Great season two. Great Americans are just awesome as so as, as ever. Uh, let's get some predictions for maybe season three. And now oh, okay. you're after you Buzz did. TV no. predictions. You want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first because I just want to talk. You know, just Stan. I really think that we're gonna see, you know, Stan is the, the whole Stan's home life, and now Stan. Now keep in mind that you know, uh, Sandra, not Sandra, moved out, so Stan still lived next door to Philip and Elizabeth. That was very right. convenient. Stan didn't move out, so that's gonna. I think that Stan's got Good nothing point. better to do than to really, you know, kind of really take a closer look at his friend Elizabeth, uh, Philip. So see what I think that that thing's gonna ramp up. He's gonna be only dedicated to the job. There's no more love interest for Stan. I think at right. this point. Uh, I think Philip and Elizabeth are in for a world of trouble. I think Philip. Is not gonna let lit, uh, not gonna let Paige be indoctrinated. I think Elizabeth is all about it, yeah. and I think you have a situation where it may be like, "Don't tell Dad, I'm telling you this," but you're a spy, Ooh. and and who, I think it's gonna have a lot of that, like you know, you know, Henry and Philip on one side, and Elizabeth and Paige on another. We'll see how that works out. I don't know. I just I feel like if they knew Paige at all, they would know that Paige is not somebody that's also gonna just roll over and do whatever they say. Right, especially her parents that she hates. Her parent, you know, like, and then also. What if they try and make like what they're saying is they're going for Paige next? Right. Wait, but what if Paige says no? And now she knows that they're spies, and now the whole cover is blown. Like, how do they know Paige is going to say yes? Yeah. And what do they do if she? Well, that's my no? whole point. The Russia's like, I don't, dude, I don't care. They I, don't take no. Yeah, you're 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 the parent. Make her a spy. Do it. 
Like, I don't know. Right. She's not supposed to say, you know. It's a very interesting turn of events. I cannot wait to see what happens. I, I don't know that I have any predictions other than the same ones you do. And I'm just excited to see what happens. Right. Me too. Well, thank you very much for uh, joining us for 13 wonderful episodes of The American Season 2. Uh, hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Uh, Joe Sanfilippo is not here, but you can find him on Twitter at Joe Flippo and on his wonderful website, josephsanfilippo.com. JTJ, where can we find you? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Jen the Jew. You can find me on my website at it's jennifergolden.com, obviously, right. and Facebook, Jennifer Golden. And you can only find me on Twitter and Instagram at Joe K. Braswell for both. And here doing Mad Men and uh, Hannibal for... Oh, and I start the night shift. The night shift. There it is. Uh, Thanks for joining us. It was great having you. Thanks for checking us out on iTunes and YouTube. And we'll see you next season. Bye. Executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff. We would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.